Hello and welcome to Brain Stuff. Today's question, does your body really replace itself every seven years? The short answer is no. But don't worry, this isn't a case of chicanerous researchers pulling the wool of shoddy science over your eyes. Your body mostly replaces itself every seven to 15 years. Some bits are never replaced. Others, like the lining of your stomach and intestines, are renewed much faster. Due to the constant wear and tear from the process of digestion, these cells have an average lifespan of just five days. Yes, the organs that work the hardest have the fastest changeover. You get a whole new skin, for instance, every two to four weeks. Your red blood cells survive less than half the year, which is not bad considering that their route through the circulatory system is about a thousand miles. And your liver renews itself at least once every couple of years. As a human body's detoxifier, it goes through a lot. Other tissues take longer to completely replenish themselves, like your bones. Skeletal cells die and new ones grow constantly, but the process takes about 10 years. And the process slows down as we get older, which is why our bones tend to get weaker as we age. And like I said, some parts of your body stay with you for life, just like heartache. The cells on the inner lens of your eye were formed when you were an embryo. Your tooth enamel wears down with use, never to return. And evidence indicates that you can't regrow the neurons of your cerebral cortex. Its loss can lead to diseases like dementia. Now luckily, other parts of your brain do regenerate, like the hippocampus, which helps us create memories, and the olfactory bulb, which helps us smell. So how do we know all of this? Well, it turns out it's all thanks to our old pal nuclear weapons testing. Yeah, high fives for radioactive stuff being released into the atmosphere! No, really. Above ground nuclear detonations during World War II and the Cold War spiked the Earth's air supply with extra carbon-14. It's been declining back toward the norm at a predictable rate since the 1960s, which means that you can use the amount of it present in any given tissue sample to determine when those cells were born. More carbon-14 means older cells. Well, that's all the time we have for Brain Stuff today, but if you want to learn more, head on over to our Stuff About Being Human playlist. And if you like this video, make it official. And if you're pretty into websites, check out ours at brainstuffshow.com. No, but really, wait, no, no, yes, no, really. <laughs> what a roller coaster. Uh.